so we have had a short lesson about some of the parts of the leaf and I'm going to review those very quickly before we go on to our second um, lesson in parts of the leaf. So we had talked about the lamina or the blade, which is this usually green part. We talked about veins and you can see the veins here and how their job is to carry the water around and also bring food to the other parts of the plant. We talked about how the leaf is the part of the plant that makes the food. We also looked at this part, the petiole, which is a stalk type of part that attaches the leaf to the stem of the plant. And we talked about stipules. And in our last lesson, we looked at little stipules down here, which are like little leaflets, sometimes found at the base of the petiole where it attaches to the stem of the plant. So today, our, we're going to have a little look at another leaf and look at a few more parts. So this leaf here is uh, in much better condition than my last one. But here we can see the petiole. We can see the veins. Look how beautiful those veins are. Uh, we can see the lamina. And we're going to talk about a couple of other parts. So the blade is the lamina or the fully extended part of the leaf. When it starts to grow and it unfurls and stretches out, that whole green part is the lamina. You'll often hear it called the blade, the part that makes the food. That comes from the Middle English word blade, which actually means a leaf. So another part we're going to look at here, and this one is very cute and cool because it's got all these little ridges here. Do you see? We're going to talk about the edge of the leaf. So the edge of the leaf is known as the margin. And margin comes from Latin, uh, margo or marginis, which means a border. So it's the very edge of the leaf. And they come in different, um, not styles, but different shapes. So we also have what's known as the base of the leaf, which is right at the bottom here. If you think of basement in your house, so the base is the bottom. We can also relate that to geometry. The base and then just like the very top point of our triangle we have an apex. So here is the apex of the leaf. The apex is up here. It's the summit. It comes from Latin. Apices which means the summit. So we can also relate that to geography. The summit of a mountain, the highest peak. So we've got the apex, we've got the base, and we have the margin. So these are some more parts of the leaf. I'm going to suggest that you also go on a scavenger hunt. Go look around your neighborhood and see if you can find leaves and look for all those parts. Maybe get a collection of different kinds and bring them home. A fun activity is to do leaf rubbings. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. If you're doing leaf rubbings, make sure you put the vein side up and you place it down, place your paper over it, get your crayons and rub and you can make very nice leaf rubbings. Another thing you can do is paint your leaves and press them on paper and make some nice prints. Or maybe you could put them in between paper towels and put them under some heavy books for a little while and they'll dry out and become super flat. And then you could pay, um, put glue on papers and you could stick them on in beautiful decorations and designs and maybe make some note cards or something like that. Um, but do get out and look for different kinds. It's a wonderful time to find leaves. Enjoy.